Hello guys, we're here at ARG Orlando with Jacob Banuelos who made top 8 on the Invitational Tournament. Well, tell us a little bit about the deck. Uh, I was running Blue Eyes. Um, I, thought, I, I thought it was a good medical. Um, I did really well day one. The only deck I actually lost to was another Blue Eyes deck, Patrick James. We just lost in the finals. But I was really scared to play against him. I knew going in that my only bad matchup was going to be Blue Eyes. Or if I break. So you finished X1, right? 7-1. And 7-1, right? Yeah, 7-1. Day and one, and then I made top 16. Uh, and then you, you passed as... A uh, second, right? You were a seed two. Yeah, seed I, number two. I, yeah, I finished the second seed. Okay, perfect. So, uh, what deck do you play? I, yeah, I play Blue Eyes. Um, top 16, I just completely beat the guy. He's running Medical ABC. And then I lost in top eight because I actually just wrecked. Yeah. yeah, you happen to play a teammate as well, right? Yeah, he was my teammate, Justin. Uh, if you watch the video, you know, he shouts me out, kind of. Yeah. Calls me out. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. Sure. Go ahead. So, standard, three blue eyes, uh, three alternative, two spirit, okay. uh, dragon spirit of white, three sage, three stone, only one of these because you don't want to see too many stones, but you still want to see stones. Okay. One veiler because to search for the stage. Okay. Uh, cat Sith. This card is like a... Uh, you main deck that? Yeah, I main deck Cat Sith because I don't main deck Twin Twister and okay. I don't main deck Raigeki okay. uh, because they're cards that you want going second, but if I win the dice roll, I want to go first. Okay. And so this is good going first if like, if you still need that combo piece. Twin Twister and Regeki aren't combo pieces that you can make Spirit with. This you can still make Spirit with, and um, like if you need to destroy a Vandy's Fiend, if you need to destroy a Vandy's Emptiness, you, you still got this. Or an Alka Heist on the field that's bothering me. Like I can just destroy it. Like yeah. That too. Okay, perfect. Uh, Kidmoto Dragon. Uh, everybody... Everybody... Um, uh, everybody kind of like raised eyebrows when I was running this. Yeah. But uh, it's a good combo card. Because I play Dragon Shrine. Yes. Uh, it's, I play Dragon Shrine, so like if I need to, I can dump the spirit and dump this and then use this effect, especially something from the hand. Uh, it, it just. It so, what is the combo? What is like, the main combo? There's no main combo. Like, there are a lot of different situations. Like, if I open this and like this. Yes. Then I can go like. Um, I will, oh yeah, like let's say I like like this happens all the time. Like you open yes. this and like something like this. Yes. Then you can go like um, or like a shrine. I don't know. I don't know. Like there's just a lot of different like it's just a lot of different things happen. Like I, I brick with this uh, with this deck a lot. Okay. And the, when when you brick it enough with the deck, you start to learn. Like, you start to, like, look at your hand, and you'd be like, man, if I had this right now, like, I wouldn't be breaking. And so, like, I feel like Kid Murder Dragon solves a lot of those problems. Like, if you open... The main thing I do with him is Shrine. So, like, if you dump him, you can, like... Because then you open, like, a Blue Eyes Dragon, a stone, and this. And you, you can't really do anything with his hand. Unless right. you go, like, Dragon Shrine, pitch, you know, Spirit, pitch him, effect, yes. summon, no okay. summon, synchro. Okay. And Dragon Shrine also, it, it uh, uh, I'll get I'll get the Dragon Shrine. Okay, cool. So mostly that card is to unbreak the hand and yeah. get more plays. It gets to uh, sp uh Spirit Dragon. Okay. The, you always want to get the Spirit okay, Dragon. Okay. And then to Maxi, this card's this yeah. card's broken. Okay. Card's yeah. Broken. Three trade in. Sure. Three return. Okay. Three Pot of Desires. Card stupid. Okay. Three Melody. Okay. And yeah. This is the tech I was main decking, Magical Spring. Okay. Uh, Why card, did you decide it? This card is amazing. First of all, if I like when I play against metal foes, a I, lot of metal foes. Actually. There were a lot of metal yeah. foes here today, but I, I didn't even think about like like I played. I put this in about three days ago. I was talking with my my boy Frank. Shouts out to Frank Miller for you know telling me about this card. I already knew about it, but he's like, why don't you side deck it for metal foes if there's such a problem? Yeah. So I was like, okay, that's a pretty good idea. So I'll side deck in it, and then. Um, it, it occurred to me, I'm like, this card's really good, let me try main decking it. Yeah. And I main decked it, and it works against ABC because they have, like, they run the Brilliant Fusions, they run the Equips, they have the Hanger. Yeah. I, I played against an ABC guy yesterday, he went, um, he opened Broken, like, Broken, like, he went Brilliant Fusion, Seraph Knight, um, Hanger, and, um, like, he got everything. And okay. then he set a back row, so his ending board was Seraph Knight, Buster, Hanger, okay. and then, uh, 
the brilliant fusion attached to the Seraphonite and a, fa a face down. Okay. I, go, I have a lava golem, so I'm like, oh, all right, I'm a lava golem. And yeah. so I would drop a turn, and he goes tag out right away. So I'm like, damn, you a little bitch. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so then he summons his three monsters. He uses the hanger, equips uh, B to A from the deck. Uh -huh. And then, so he's got a face up B. Uh, he's got Seraph Knight, and he's got the hanger. And I'm thinking that last face down, I know it's got to be a D barrier. Yeah. Like, it has to be a D barrier. So I played around it. So I just played trade in, uh, got the blue eyes in the grave, and then I went special summon blue eyes from the grave, normal summon stone, flip the barrier, I chained this. Barrier, Brilliant Fusion, the Equip, and the Hanger. Oh, yeah, draw those four, are the bosses. And it was a blowout at that point, because I just yeah. the hand advantage. The hand advantage plus, is important. Plus, the Metaphors cannot pop their scales, right? right so my round so one... So it is, my round one, it is I, a really plus. I bricked in my round one. Uh, I went I went first, I went, wow, this is a bad hand. I go, special summon alternative, set, yeah. pass. He goes, activate scout. And I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Activate Scout, pay 800. Then he goes, activate, uh, Muscle Driver. To the stage. He, goes, to the stage. he goes, activate Gold Driver, Gold Driver Effect, destroy Scout. I chain this. And I was yeah. like, yeah, you keep your scales and you can't special summon anything except for Cliff on Monsters. Okay. Yeah. Try to play. Yeah, I exactly. Got, that was it. It was a blowout. Because then I drew two. That's actually a really good tech for you all guys watching. I had a lot out of there. people, I had a lot of male foes, like they would like play the ones, uh, play the low scale, play the low scale, effect destroy, and I just chain this, and they're locked. And then like, they have to like do like really stupid things, like summon Mithrilium to try and bounce pay back, but then I just Valor them, so it's like, they're, they're, they're stuck. And nice. it's not, it's not, so if I flip this and I activate it during their turn, their stuff can't be destroyed that turn, and then it's not until the end of the next, their next turn. Yeah. So, they can't destroy their scales. Yeah, and you can go it. off. Then with I can your go monsters. off my turn. Yeah. And if they live, they still can't destroy scales yeah. during their turn. Okay. So it's it's, it's really good. Kills. Yeah. Okay. They also try to like, they you know they set the combination. They try to MST it. You can just chain this. Yeah. So you just wasted an MST. Yeah. Or I'm just gonna plus like. Yeah, that was a really good idea. Uh, two Dragon Shrine for sure, consistency for, yeah. issues. One Silver Cry. Only one because when I was playing two, I'd always open two, and you can only play one that turn. Okay. I I drew this card like it was my job. This, really? this card right here is broken. Yeah. Broken. Uh, one wing blast, just okay. one, and then one emptiness. Just to unclog the hand, and, yep. Yep. and okay, yep. perfect. Yep. And people were asking me all day, how many times did you brick? And I'm like, I bricked all the time yesterday, but I had the magical spring, and yeah. it helps you unbrick. Uh, That's side perfect. deck. Sure. 2DD Crow. Okay, yeah. Card for, is really good. Paleozoics. Uh, yeah. And, um, three spots left in our winner box. Three it's for the. This is for the Paleozoics and for the Mermails. Yeah. Two Denko Seca for Paleo. Okay. One Drone Lock Bird. This is just for Mermail. That's all okay. it's for. Just Mermail. Okay. One Lava Golem. Okay. Uh, for yeah. code stuff. Yeah. Raigeki. Sure. Vanities and stuff. This is for ABC. Uh, sure. I played against ABC Metal Flows in Top 16, and since he knew this is this is a card that's like supposed to surprise your opponent. Yeah. Like they tag out right away. Yeah. But since I, my opponent knew I was running this, I, I just didn't even put him in Top 16. Once again, you're one player, Michael Brownie. Up to the scorekeeper's table, please. Michael Brownie. Okay. Up to the scorekeeper's table, please. If I go first. Okay, perfect. For everyone yeah. I know, I'm going first. I put in the second wing. Okay. Box. Yeah. Uh, Perfect. extra deck, you to this is the galaxy package. Y yes. Hope Harbinger. Okay. Thelgrand. Thelgrand is really good against all guys. Yeah. They're really good. Because if I have a blue eyes white dragon on the field and the dragon spirit of white, they're not going to use the effect on the dragon spirit of white because yeah. I can tag out and then they're not going to use it on the blue eyes because they can't. Yeah. It's a vanilla. So then I just immediately make this and then I can like summon alternative and do something. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Heliopolis. To blow up boards, I, I just I, I use this on metal foe and like I attach. I was like, response is like no. I was like, okay, pitch five monsters, destroy your whole field. Okay. Uh, I didn't use this once, and I if I if I need to put in an extra card, I'm gonna take this out. This, okay. This card was amazing. Lands a lot. Amazing. I don't know why. I don't know why ABC do it. I, I'll never understand, but like when they use Buster's effect, they'll just sit on Buster. Yeah. And then like I'll have two rank eights. So I'll be like response. They'll be like, no, I'll make this attack directly. They take two thousand, and they can't tag out because I'll just negate it. Yeah. And they lose like the entire. Buster. Yeah. Uh, two spirit. Sure. Two Azure. Two is yeah. better than one for ABC. Why? Um, I guess ABC. If I make this right away with a blue eyes white dragon on the field. Okay. They can't do anything to it. Oh. Okay. And so they're just gonna like wait for it to die out. If okay. Then yeah. my turn will come around. I'll like normal summon a tuner, seeker with the blue eyes. Oh, make another yeah. spirit. Yeah. Okay. Should be the doctor in their turn. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
I always needed the second one against okay. ABC. Moonlight to bounce stuff, sure. Michael, and then Soul Charge right here. Hey, man, you doing, man? Oh, nice. Well, I saw that uh, Blue Eyes got second actually, yeah. so Blue Eyes were doing really good, and and I saw Blue Eyes were on table one for a, for a couple like on the top four tables all the time. Yeah, Patrick so, Dreams. I actually played Patrick Dreams at table one. Yeah. Blue Eyes mirror match. Yeah, it was it was cool. Yeah, so I'm glad you you put that on again. Maybe it will, it will raise the raise the prize a little bit yeah, for maybe. sure. The cards and um, well, any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to Patrick James. <laughs> He's the man right there. Um, shout out to shout outs to my boys back in North Carolina. Uh, shout outs to everybody in El Paso, Luis, Abel, you know, you guys. Uh, shout outs to my two brothers, my biggest motivation to do well. Uh, and of course, shout out to uh, team, y, team Wise Guys. Uh, and shout out to SOS. Okay, so thanks for being part of this and three out of four players of Wise Guys Top. So yeah. that's amazing. That's amazing. And you, a new team upcoming that you guys should look for. Thank you.